how this will come out. This is the uh, my garden. Um, this area here is going to be sunflowers. I need to weed it today. Um, I've got some. Um, <clears throat> so I've got some sunflowers and some geraniums that need deadheading. And here I've got my hibiscus that's uh, that's growing nicely. But uh, the, fl the leaves are small from not having enough water at certain times. And a little tree that uh, was originally from a um, Christmas tree. But uh, that's doing quite well. <clears throat> My lemon tree, of course. Nice big lemon tree. Hey, hi. Shui, how are you doing? <laughs> good, good. And then round here I've got uh, all my big growing vines that all grow along the side of the, the mobile home. Along my uh, carport. And then just walking back here. Got my uh, hawthorn which desperately needs repotting. It's, uh, it's in a teeny pot, but I, I'm sure it's, well, it's definitely grown all out of that and down into the ground below. So that's kind of cool. And then this poor little thing, I was originally going to take it out, but I decided to leave it be. It has some nice berries and stuff on it for the birds in the winter. And then here's my mint and some rosemary a few chives and a little bit of uh whoops it's not even on there is it the sun shining right on the screen so i got the chives and the uh, cilantro a little melon growing in that pot i don't know how it's going to do in that pot and i've got some thyme and some sage, some bolted <laughs> cilantro here, and then my tomatoes, tomatoes that are doing nicely growing up there. And I've got some beans that I'm planning to uh, plant out today. That one there is uh, trying to grow around my tomato. I should definitely have to move that. And here I've got some parsley that's got, that are going to be uh, moved into a bigger pot. I don't know if you can see those very well. And I bought myself a jasmine that I'm going to put along the fence here somewhere. And I've got uh, some watermelon, little tiny watermelons. And uh, a zucchini that needs to be, I think that's a zucchini. And my carrots. And growing nicely in the little pot there. But, there we go. Oopsie. Falling over. Carrots. I might potato. Let's really get it going gangbusters. And my grape. I've got a Thompson seedless there. It's doing nicely. Uh, some little strawberry starts that I just started from my plants. I just don't have very, very much in the way of strawberries, but that's those. And here, a few more strawberries. <laughs> I already harvested the basil, but I just kind of cut them back and I'm just going to see whether or not they'll give me a second crop and they seem to be doing pretty well actually a lot better than I kind of expected I think and here's some more little melons they're really they're really uh, going for it the little melons here those, they were in a little tray that uh, was left from a rabbit hatch that Elizabeth left here one time and I've got some corn in a couple of uh, grow bag things they're doing pretty good and again, some more basil that uh, that have already been harvested, but uh, snap back and pick up. Take off that flower head. I don't want that on there. And my peppers. 
some nice peppers here. And another potato. These are just some potatoes that were um, in the kitchen and got past it. And I thought, well, I couldn't get I couldn't get the potatoes that I wanted to grow in time. So I thought, well, I'll try these outside in a container, and we'll see how they do. And they seem to be doing pretty well. And here's my other zucchini and a potato and some volunteer and otherwise tomatoes which we planted uh, some of these tomatoes and I don't know about this potato it got a bit too wet and I'm not sure if it's going to be rotten or if it's going to survive but I'm letting it dry out and hoping it'll do okay so that's kind of it that's the garden